Transitioning to a carbon neutral world doesn't mean going back to the dark ages. In fact, if we went all in right now, we could stand a decent chance of transforming society without huge disruption. It's exciting to think about what a carbon neutral society would look like day to day as we went about our busy lives. To start, it would be quiet and clean. Cities would be designed for walking, cycling, electric public transit, and electric cars. There'd be less traffic and no smog. Our homes would be more comfortable, bright, warm, and dry in the winter, cool in the summer. We'd have less plastic and garbage, and our communities would no longer be strewn with litter. With more trees planted and natural spaces conserved to absorb carbon and filter water, we'd have fresh air and more birdsong on our way to work. The salmon would come back, and the bees too. Sustainable agriculture would provide local, healthy food grown on farms that sequester carbon in the soil and use less pesticides. Sure, we'd eat less meat, but by trading factory farm beef for cattle, using slower, sustainable practices, it would taste better, wouldn't be loaded with antibiotics. We have so much to gain. It's not just possible that the transition to a clean economy could create jobs. It is inevitable. Jobs that are inspired, important, and valuable. The shift can be the vehicle to deliver a more just, equitable, and healthy society. I will continue to work in my community, in this legislature, and in this chamber to champion policies based on the best evidence to take us forward to that future I know that we all want to be a part of creating. <laughs>